In this video, we're going to take a look at recording a song using the Cubasis LE app. Begin by tapping the media button, then tapping on a new project template. Give the project a name, and then tap OK. Now, let's set up the project settings. I'll begin by setting the tempo. I'll tap on the tempo button, then swipe up or down to set the desired tempo. Next, we want to set the left and right locators. Now we use these locators to automatically stop recording once the right locator has been reached. I'll do this by tapping the record mode button and selecting out. So recording will automatically stop when the right locator is reached. Next, I'm going to add a MIDI track by tapping the add MIDI track button. I'm going to use this track to record drums. I'll do this by tapping on the instrument icon and selecting drums from the Microsonic interface. With my instrument selected, I'll now record a drum track using my MIDI controller that's hooked up to my audio interface. But before I do that, I'll tap the metronome button to enable the click track. Then begin recording. Not a bad take, but there were a few timing issues. So I'll double tap on the MIDI drum part to bring up the MIDI editor. I'll then use the Select tool to select all the notes in this part. Then, I'll tap and hold the Move button to gently move the notes to their correct timing. The notes will automatically snap according to the quantization setting. My drums are now in perfect time. Here, I've copied the drum beat over a few bars, so let's record a guitar track. Tap on Add audio track to create a track for our guitar. Tap to show the inspector if it's hidden. Then tap on the track and rename it, and in this case I'll name it Guitar. Next, we'll have to be sure that the track is connected to the correct input. It's important to use the same input to which the guitar is connected on the audio interface. Tap the routing tab, then tap on the correct input. Finally, I'll enable track monitoring so that I can hear my guitar and begin recording. Let's go ahead and add another audio track, this time for vocals. Once again, I need to rename the audio track, and we'll call it Vocals. Once the track's been created, I'll again tap on the Routing tab to make sure that the track's input is set to the same input as the microphone. And once again, turn on Track Monitoring and begin recording. The song is starting to take shape. Let's add a bass guitar. Again, add another audio track and rename it to Bass Guitar. Again, I'll have to check the routing to make sure that the track input lines up with the correct input on the audio interface. And just like before, enable track monitoring so that we can hear as we play along. To finish this song off, I want to add one more instrument. So I'm going to add a MIDI track. Then tap on the instrument icon to bring up the Microsonic interface. The included Microsonic instrument contains a wide variety of instrument sounds. These include drums, strings, choirs, pianos, and even organs, 
which is the instrument that I wish to select. Now with my organ track all set up, I'll begin recording using my MIDI controller. Now, I'm not the greatest keyboard player in the world, so there were a few dropped notes, but that's an easy fix. By double tapping the part, I'm able to open the editor. I can select the notes I wish to remove and then tap Erase. While I'm in here, I'm going to double tap in the editor to select all of the notes. Then, use the Quantize feature to improve the timing. <laughs> 